So in this example, all I was asking you guys to do is find the value C that completes the square. So if you guys remember, we actually did a worksheet like this um, when we were first learning completing the square in unit two. And all you guys had to do to find the value that completes the square is just do b divided by 2 and square it. So remember, b comes from our standard form of a quadratic, which is your coefficient of your linear term, which is your linear variable, which is x. So therefore, that's simply just going to be 11 divided by 2 squared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we do not need to be dealing with fractions. Okay? So since 2 does not divide into 11, I'm going to leave it as is. All right? So now I need to square 11 halves. Well, 11 halves squared is 11 halves times 11 halves, or 11 squared over 2 squared, which is 121 over 4. If you guys don't know your square numbers, you can see 121 is going to be 11 squared. Look at that. Then they wanted you to write it as a perfect square. x squared plus 11x plus 121 over 4. I would prefer if you would have gone a step further and just rewritten that as a binomial squared, which if you guys remember, I gave you guys the formula when you guys first did this. I said it's always the factored form of a perfect square trinomial is always x plus b divided by 2 squared. So what was my b divided by 2? 11, 11 halves. So when I come around and check your homework, I expect to at least see the value c and then it written as a perfect square trinomial. And you'll make me really happy if you write it as a binomial squared. Okay. So make sure you guys complete that, not only for that problem, but for the rest of them. 